Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Manifest It Vanessa on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Gaia. That is my Twitter, TikTok, and podcast. All the links are down below. And my affirmations list emails down below. And today we're going to be talking about resistance, resistance when manifesting, releasing resistance when manifesting. The definition of resistance is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I love it so much. The definition is resistance is the refusal to accept or comply with something. When you resist your affirmations, when you resist your persistence, when you resist your desires, you are not accepting these things. You are not accepting these things as true. You are not accepting these things in your mind, in your life, none of it. And most of the times resistance isn't voluntary, which I understand, okay? Your parents kept telling you, you have to work super hard to be successful. You have deep beliefs that you're not worthy of love. So it's hard for you to accept in your mind that you're loved by every single person everybody you want loves you 10 times more i understand but that is where discipline comes in i see so many people scared to let themselves live in their imagination and i think it's because a lot of people know it works you know that your imagination is real you know that you can create anything you want but you are scared because you don't think you're good enough implement it right now that what you see in your imagination is real it is true there is no logical reason why we have the ability to think of any reality in the world that we want in here i'm literally seeing myself in japan right now i literally see myself in las vegas right now i'm literally seeing myself in paris right now like there's no reason why i can do that and it not mean something it not affect my life in any way shape or form get it in your head that your imagination is your one true and only reality there are no limitations in here if you can see it in your mind you can experience it in your reality but i need you to stop taking this reality as real and stop taking this reality as not that important not that real not that powerful this is creating out here so if you want to get rid of resistance it is not going to happen by controlling out here it is not going to happen by seeing results out here and it happens in here your resistance is telling you oh my god i need to know when where how and why okay you're asking the wrong questions if you want to know why you should be asking why wouldn't this work out for me why wouldn't i receive it why don't i think i can have this thing why would a billion people be able to manifest but not me because it doesn't make sense when y'all ask that oh my god why isn't it working for me that's why because you keep affirming to yourself that it's not working for you because of your resistance the only limitations on this planet in this universe are the ones that you have in your mind nothing in your 3d the more you keep saying oh but my parents said this but my money looks like this but this is my health condition but sp blocked me but sp said this that is what makes it real it is not real because it is happening in your 3d it is real because it is happening in your imagination you are the one assigning meaning to things i don't care if the person i'm in love with blocks me to me that means nothing and that is why i'm able to get out of that circumstance same day to you that means everything and that is why you've been in that circumstance for six months not because of what happened out here because of what's going on in here you are not convincing anyone but yourself that you can have be and do anything that you want the more you keep trying to force sp the more you keep trying to force money the more you keep trying to force your body to change is the more you're keeping yourself stuck because you keep trying to convince your 3d to change the 3d is you also understand that your limitations and resistance cannot keep you from getting what you want i do not care if you have the most disbelieving mindset in the world i do not care if you're literally looking at me and you're like gee there is no way that this illness that i've had my whole life is just gonna go away just because i repeat it just because i believe it just because i assume it just because i say it just because i work on self-concept i don't care if that's literally you about your health money sp job car house i don't care if that's your belief you can still manifest it does not matter how much you don't believe in something because nobody was born believing or not believing in certain things those beliefs were implemented to you the doctor said there is no way you're gonna heal from this condition so now you're like guy there is no way i'm healing from this condition i don't care the only reason you believe that is because it was persisted into you so if you can learn to persist in what you actually want to experience your mindset will change and you will have no problem nobody is born with limiting beliefs so to me if you can heavily not believe in something then you can heavily believe in it as well a lot of things i see is people have resistance towards something and then instead of trying to get in their mind and really fix it really work on themselves they just want to affirm on top of it like 
your whole being is telling you you cannot have this and you're like i can have it i can have it and then on top of that you're only saying it to force it in the 3d that is why people have so much trouble with affirming so what we're gonna start doing is you're just gonna start saying it is true it is true it's true okay you want a hundred thousand dollars it's true if your mind says there's no way how are you gonna get it you don't have enough you don't make enough you don't have a college degree you don't have experience what jobs are gonna hire you you've been unemployed for it's true it's true it's true it's true i have a hundred thousand dollars it is true i have a hundred thousand dollars it is true i have a hundred thousand dollars euros francs nara i don't care rubies it is true 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 don't even give your mind time to decide like you are more powerful than your thoughts you are more powerful than intrusive and negative thoughts and stop putting resistance on a pedestal i have so much resistance i don't think i can do it if i say it is true then it is because that's what i said so if you are saying it is true stop putting resistance up here your resistance is connected to you if you change you the resistance has to go away too many of you are trying to control the 3d rather than your mind and that is why you have so much resistance it cannot work like that you'll be like oh my god but i've been affirming that it's true but in the 3d sp just blocked me in the 3d i just lost money in the 3d the doctor said oh my god i went to an astrologer i went to a psychic and they said that i'll never have my dream life is that true what happened if that is you you have not changed at all i saw this video from bashar and i'll link it down below and i i love that he said this he said if you are doing your techniques visualizing stats states aff affirming and you are still letting the 3d control how you feel control how you think behave act control your decisions you have not changed at all you have to decide how you're going to feel regardless of what the 3d shows if you are affirming i'm loved i'm chosen i'm with my desired partner and that desired partner is not showing up and then you go and complain oh my god they're showing up this way you have not changed because you are still letting what is out here control how you feel in here and in here if that is you you haven't changed at all you have to decide i'm going to feel joy no matter what i'm going to tell myself this is working no matter what's going out here progress isn't measured by what your 3d looks like it is measured by the inner conversations you're having it is measured by how you feel what you think what you tell yourself when things are going whatever which way how much you react to things in your reality that is what giving up resistance means you have to be disciplined in what you're doing if you are repeating your affirmations you have to be disciplined in that so what do i do when i have resistance what do i do when my mind says girl you're not getting that manifestation or girl this just showed up in the 3d first of all my mind I, i'm so good at like not caring about the 3d because i understand that my imagination is real i understand that every single thing that is in my reality i created with my thoughts alone and it had nothing to do with what was going on without here so my mind is never like oh my god but this just showed up in the 3d i'm so like beyond that you're going to be stuck for life if you keep letting the 3d control how you feel think act and behave stop attaching to it okay you guys are like but this circumstance but this circumstance but this circumstance if you keep telling yourself but this circumstance then the problem is always going to be that circumstance i'm literally telling you if you want the problems to stop being the circumstances stop being addicted to suffering stop being addicted to pain stop being addicted to complaining you have to discipline yourself and start telling yourself different i don't know what else to say i don't know what you want to hear from me if you don't want resistance stop doing things that multiply that resistance if you don't want resistance stop focusing on the 3d stop complaining about the 3d stop trying to force the 3d when you f see yourself spiraling flip the thought when you see yourself wavering it's already done it's, it is true 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 but when i have resistance i have to remind myself who i am you have to remind yourself who you are i am powerful and limitless there is nothing in this world that i cannot be do or have especially something that a billion people already have okay you if you look at elon musk for example and you're like oh my god his life is so good he's so rich and powerful yeah why do you think that is because of his freaking mindset can you sit here and confidently say if elon musk had your mindset he'd be successful right now probably not do you think if ice spice had your mindset she'd be successful right now probably not do you think if any of the card jenners had your mindset right now they'd be successful probably not so you have to understand the issue is your mind. It is not what's going on in your 3D. Fix 
your mind fix your mind get rid of resistance by fixing your mind tell yourself over and over it is true what i am saying is true nothing is permanent you are not in a permanent reality and you need to understand that your circumstances are not final it is not permanent it is not permanent it is not permanent how you're reacting is going to tell you where you are internally so if every little thing that happens in the 3d you feel like you have to fix i have to revise it it has to change that is telling me where you are internally you are not in a good place i didn't want to say get rid of resistance by just repeating your affirmations because a lot of y'all do that and nothing changes because you are still the same person internally. If you're going to affirm, do it to change your self-identity. That is it. I don't care what's going on in 3D. You shouldn't be affirming to change your 3D. Get rid of resistance by changing your self-identity. Work on self-concept. Change your self-identity. That is what is affecting your entire life. That's it. And with that being said, that is all for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, you can have anything you want in this universe. Nothing's too big, small, or wide, or expensive. I believe in you. You should believe in you. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!